Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how you will have to be careful about your past previous demons because they will pop back up with a heat check. They will definitely pop back up with a heat check. Check your temperature, check your frequency, check your volumes to check out what you got going on in your life, if you actually growing, if you going backwards or the other way. And what kind of brought me to this subject today was I had one of my old demons try to pop back up in the picture, you know, and I kind of gave that space a little wiggle room. We hadn't talked in like <clears throat> less than a year, but uh, they had decided to reach out on my solar return when they knew that the energy would be lighter. It would be a little bit more forgiving in the spiritual realm, not saying that, oh, I forgave them and now this is what it is, but just saying like, if I reached out to somebody when they was having a celebration, usually they want to keep the vibrations on the up and up. If they don't, then they won't respond. So they are usually aware of the spaces on when to reach out and when to heat check you and do these things. But I had one of my old demons try to heat check me and I just wanted to... Thing with me, right, is you don't really understand the light until you took a hard walk in the dark you know you don't ever really know a lot of the things that you don't like to eat you don't like to do until you actually start trying things and then that's when you become more aware of life that's happening around you and the roles that you play as well so <clears throat> one thing about these demons right they pathological liars they always lie 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 it's it's what they do they open their mouth they be like oh did you check the weather today it's sunny outside because the blinds closing because you haven't opened the blinds you think it's sunny because you believe them you go outside and it is dreary outside it's not a piece of the sun in sight you know what i'm saying there's dark clouds everywhere it look like it's about to storm but then for some reason they told you that and then in their world when you go outside and then you say something to them they'll be like yeah well it was sunny out earlier when i got up you know, some weird shit like that, but it's really just to throw your circumference off. So I had this old demon who is infamous for hurting people, you know. And I had asked them when they had reached out and we was talking. It had been a couple of days, a couple of weeks or so. We probably had been engaging on and off for, for probably about, about September, October. So probably about three weeks, maybe. It hasn't even been that long and it, say like I we talked on a Friday then we went talk again to like next Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday or some shit like that because I already knew what time it was but what happens is you have a lot of uh, stable situations and decent memories with certain beings so you tend to be a little bit curious and your curiosity is what opens the door for them you know because before your curiosity you got the door closed locked bolted chained everything as soon as your curiosity gets a piece of what's going on on the other side of the door you look through the peephole you're like oh i kind of want to see a little bit more it's out of my my sight from the peephole because you know the peephole limits you as soon as you crack that door they are those salesmen those people who put their foot in the middle of your doorway so you cannot close it. You try to shut your shit back and they're like, uh, 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 and they want to throw in a few more words and questions and stuff of that nature. So, have, having, having to understand having to understand this process, right? We get to spaces to where when you've been separated from that demonic energy, whether it's your mom, your siblings, a spousal person, because we're light beings, we tend to put the good energy, the good memories, the good vibrations above the witchy shit that was happening. So then 
as time goes on, we tend to lean more on the good memories and push the other ones to the side. Now, we don't forget. We just push them to the side. So with us doing that, we're actually giving the good memories more weight. So that's why we tend to be more willing to open the door or compromise with some of these old weird witches and warlords that we was engaging and dealing with. But their whole goal and objective is to destroy you as always. To watch you crash out, right? I had one of these demons, I'm still speaking of the same one. And it was it was it was wild. I think it's like two or three planes literally are just taking circles around me literally like if i had a rocket launcher to shoot up there I, I keep trying to change locations and they're literally flying over top of me these are like regular like not commercial airplanes like i said I, it's a lot of money out here so you got rich people who just go get in their airplanes and they just start flying them because they can so i don't i don't take everything as oh skate stalking it's just a distraction from the process you know what i'm saying that's all that is but we don't lean a lot of energy over there Anyways, when engaging with this being, right, they was trying to tell me how they uh, moved on from this vibration and frequency. And in my world, it's like, not like, it's crazy because anytime you speak good of yourself or you, you speak of your great attributes, it's almost like you have to prepare yourself to humble yourself to discuss things that you actually do that you're good at so like for instance like i'm really good at basketball and football i'm good at all sports but i just say basketball right but if i'm having a conversation with people about basketball and i was gonna talk about you know either some games or some plays or how how well i play it's always like this weird conversation where i gotta say like not to be arrogant or not to be cocky or like Fuck all of that shit. If you think about it, that arrogance and cocky is just a way to keep you more subtle and humble, which most of us already know how to humble ourselves. It's just we go through all this different dialogue and shit. But I was saying that to say, like, you don't meet beings like me, right, who stand solid on their word behind closed doors and in the public, you know, who does take care of his daughter without the BM doing all the weird witchy shit that she do trying to remove a present father but that's something I gotta take on every day you know I do be on my I could name a list of things that I'm doing right <clears throat> you're not gonna move on to no other situation after me and feel or think that you are leveling up what happened is you leveled down and you settled it's not anything wrong with that because a lot of the times we don't be prepared for what we're asking for a lot of people say, oh, yeah, females, I want a good man, I want a righteous man, I want a God-fearing man, I want a man to take care of his child and kids and, and gonna suck my toes and rub my back and blah, 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 blah. They name all this shit, right? And they'll get it. The men, they get it. They are so engulfed and entrapped in their own little spells in the way society has programmed them to view things once they actually have it that they don't even know how to maintain it. That's like me saying, oh, yeah, I want to get the new Mortal Kombat game. I got it. Then all my friends like, you got Mortal Kombat? Let's play it. Nigga, I ain't even played it because I ain't no good at it. So what difference do it make? Like, if I ain't going to practice and become better at it, then uh, what am I telling people I got it just to say I got it? That's like somebody having a Lamborghini and never drives or don't know how to drive a stick. But like, yeah, I got a Lamborghini at the house. So you couldn't even take it to the corner store if you wanted to because you don't know how to drive a stick. <laughs> so... It's, it's no different with these demons. I was telling this motherfucker yesterday that you don't separate from an entity like me and assume you're going to come back around seven, eight months later with some kind of witchcraft spell to make me feel or seem like you changed or grown. Hell no. You're a grown-ass adult. You ain't shifted in 30-something years, so why the fuck would you shift seven to eight months after me? That's not how it works. That is not how it works. That's like me being super broke, which I ain't no rich man. I'm just saying super extra broke, meaning like I'm not even able to do this. That's what I mean by extra broke. 
and all of a sudden I'm with this great person I leave you know but I'm so really broke and then all of a sudden like two three months later I'm sitting with a hundred thousand dollars in my account people can make a hundred thousand dollars in a couple months couple weeks but usually that's not the process usually it requires a lot of time work energy a uh, 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 multitude of recipes you got to put together to get there unless you're going to take the witchy method and just bend over you know what i'm saying i ain't with none of that shit but it's a lot of people who are but when you leave these demons and let's say you was the one that was teaching and helping mold them into a better person bringing in their awareness from a 20 percent to a 60 percent you know what i mean you understood how much work and time it required for you to even get them to the space to where they at to where it's kind of manageable so when you gone out the picture what the fuck do you think is going to happen a motherfucker went from being a little bit more disciplined by being with me i told you before my disciplinary is not at 100 percent i am still a spiritual being having a human experience i have my moments where i go into my down spaces you know just as a man not having any older men to, to branch out to, you know what I'm saying? I don't have very much of my family members around that I, I'm close enough with that I engage with on a regular basis, you know what I'm saying? So, for me, when I get to those spaces, it's like, you can, you can try to dibble around and like, see if you could tweak my energy a little bit, but I took your awareness up from 20% to, depending on how long you've been with me It's gonna shoot up This last person awareness probably went up to about You know almost a little bit Above 50% You know what I mean And For them They worked their hands on us While we were with them I even had this motherfucker say that They don't like to hurt people anymore I'm like You realize that's what you've been doing your whole life Right hurting people so now that I was telling you to direct your dark energy a certain way for a greater good so check this out right I got this zombie right here right let's just use a zombie just cause it's far out there got these humans right here the zombie want to vibe as a zombie but the zombie want to vibe around humans right but the humans ain't gonna let that zombie vibe with the humans because they don't trust the zombie they know how the zombies get you gonna try to eat me first chance you get right so there was a, a, a zombie movie out where they actually allowed the zombie to move around with the humans what happened was the zombie figured out another way to direct their energy towards the opposition they're still a zombie but what they do is they don't give the aggression to the ones around them they don't put that that warm mentality that i'm going to eat you up mentality on the people around them they put it on the rest of the universe outside of the people that they're moving around with a lot of these beings that operate on that vibration and frequency they aren't shifting, they aren't growing out of any of these spaces. You can let them tell you a million things, you know what I mean? Like, you have to remember how far gone they are into their playbook. This one used to get mad that I would make certain statements when they ass would just be sitting around me, like giving me weird vibrations, being lazy. Doing all kind of weird shit. But the fat motherfucker slimmed up. Soon as I get away, the fat motherfucker start picking that weight back up. It, what, they lose the little bit of disciplinary and righteousness that was making them feel the need to take care of themselves in a better light. Even though they were still operating very demonically. See, the thing is, like, if we stayed around and they really put the work in, we would be able to move and twist all of that shit. But we ain't situated enough to take all that goddamn damage, and a lot of us ain't prepared 
for all that damage that comes with what they do. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's just even hard even having a communication with them, which is why you should minimize communication because almost everything that comes out their mouth is a lie. It's very few things that they tell the truth about. One of them will be a job. They love jobs. Job is like daddy to them, you know? So to them, it covers their I ain't doing shit with my life statement. They be like, oh, yo, well, I got a job. Okay, cool. Okay, I got two legs. Yes, motherfucker. Like, it, working with them, being in a space and an energy, especially if you already got away, you have to be a lot more firmer if you're going to engage with them. You know what I mean? I had this being trying to tell me they don't hurt people no more because they didn't want to use that energy the way I was trying to ask them to direct it. But they didn't have a problem directing that dark energy at me and my daughter. This is the disgusting shit I be talking about. So if I'm willing to fight with the people in my house, I should be able, I should be willing to fight for the people in my house. If I'm gonna fight the people in my house, I should be willing to fight for the people that's in my house. You know what I mean? If you don't know what that means, it's like I can whoop my little brother's ass, but you ain't gonna whoop my little brother's ass. I can hit my little brothers and my sister if I wanted to. But you're not going to hit my brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? So even even with the ones that I don't have the best relationship with because they witchy as fuck too. If we're all in the same space and somebody do something, to me, I take that as a spiritual disrespect. Like, no, I'm not fucking with these two siblings right here. But y'all already know my vibration. So you know if you touch them, you're going to have to see me. It don't matter what kind of energy I'm in with these ones right here. You're going to have to see me. These motherfuckers ain't like that. And that's, I, I ran that test, right, just to see, because I, I also teach and I share the knowledge and information. I wanted to see what the responses was. I wanted to be able to read the energy to see what was actually going on. And when the person was speaking, I could actually hear smirks and smiles in their voice, you know, that um, they felt entitled to be like, oh yeah, I know I was fucking you and your daughter over or trying to my best, but yeah, I, I, I can't use my energy to uh, to make any moves for you guys. And I'm like, bitch, I don't care. We had already not been communicating anyways. It was just a test run. It was a test trial. You have to run test trials. You have to pop quizzes on motherfuckers. You get pop quizzed and test ran on you. So why would you not do the same thing for others? You know what I mean? I had did that shit with my BM years ago. And for me, it's like... Ah, you could take it as lying, you could take it as playing a game, but I'm pretty honest about it. You know, I'm pretty straightforward. What happens is, it's a test. So anytime you get a test, it always feels like it's more pressure because it is. It's a test. You ever get a pop quiz, you're usually never really ready for them. That's why it's called a pop quiz. You just have to stay ready. You have to stay ready, you know what I mean? But a lot of these demons, they just like to hoverboard around just to check your temperature, you know what I'm saying? To see if you're going to allow them back in the door to keep doing that disgusting shit. Because most of them will never do better than us. Most of them. I would say about 98% of them. The other 2%, I say they only did better because they found somebody who was financially stable and who was a bitch. You're willing to shut the fuck up and do whatever. Take all these lashings, whippings, beatings. You're going to take all of it and they're going to take it with a smile on their face. You know what I mean? But you don't you don't just run into light beings like us and just think that oh you just get to one do us dirty and two move on like you're gonna find a replacement. Hell no. You can move on with your life, which you should. That's great. But you have to understand once your leg get cut off, it's cut off. Once you ran into us in these vibration frequencies, you will never run into it again. You will never run into it again. You don't get opportunities like that, chances like that. Especially on no demon time. God sent us your way to see if you really want to shift because you must have been putting some energy in saying you wanted to get away from these spells. Then once it was presented to you, you realize, oh shit, I'm too weak. I'm too lazy. I'm too fat. I'm too stubborn. I'm too unaccountable to do any of these other things. So I'm just going to stay fat, lazy, sloppy, you know, whatever you want to call it in a whole nother space. They only heat check, you know what I'm saying, just to see what kind of damage was left from what they done. 
and what more damage can they do? You know what I mean? But I ain't want to run up too long. Tapping anything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.